Hey guys, hope you all are well. Throughout the month of May, I have been participating in Escape the Readathon. If you saw my May TBR, if you have seen my recent vlogs, you know I'm participating in Escape the Readathon. I'm a co host. It's a readathon hosted by Books with Lexi. Um, I'll have all the readathon information linked down in, in the description. But as an addition to the readathon, Lexi, if we were interested in doing like a Secret Santa sort of thing, there's like this gift giving website. And instead of us listing like what we want as gifts, we listed tropes that we like in books and some stuff that we don't like in books. And then a name is pulled for everyone. And then we are given this person's list and then we have to recommend a book based on the list. So I got my name, I already sent off my recommendation. I'm not gonna talk about that in this video, but I just got notified that someone posted a comment on my list. So I think my recommendations are in. So I wanted to film. We will see what I got for recommendation. I'll screen record my computer and, um, and then I'll choose which one I'm gonna read. I don't know if they recommended me one or a whole bunch to choose from. I know I recommended quite a few. I just wanted to give my person options. So I don't know if I'm gonna have a few to choose from or if they're just gonna recommend me one book and that's gonna be that. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and screen record on my computer. Oh, okay, <laughs> here we go. Um, so my recommendations are House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland, Such Pretty Flowers by K.L. Sarah, and Gallows Hill by Darcy Coates. Okay, <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> um, so I got House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. From what I, I am familiar somewhat with all three of these. Um, House of Hollow, I know, I think is YA. I've heard it's very weird, which that's a positive. I love me weird books, but I don't really know much about it other than that. Such Pretty Flowers by K.L. Sarah. I can picture the cover, but I don't actually know what this book is about. So I'm gonna go over to, not Google, Goodreads. Um, a woman investigating her brother's apparent suicide finds herself falling for her prime suspect, his darkly mysterious girlfriend, in this creepy, compelling, and utterly original thriller. Um, I think I'm gonna skip this one, just because even though um, it says like apparent suicide, it still probably reads like a murder mystery. Uh, she probably is questioning whether it's a suicide or not. As the prime suspect is this woman that she's attracted to. It's a potential murder mystery. I don't know why I have an aversion to those so much, but I don't know, Myster mystery elements, unless they're like, cosmic mystery or supernatural paranormal like highly highly something about it has really got to hook me not just someone's dead i don't know i'm just gonna give it a pass i'm, I'm not sure about that one and then we have gallows hill by darcy coates i have been wanting to read this one um i like darcy coates i've read two darcy coates so far and one was a five star one was a four star so I feel like the safest bet would be to go with Gallows Hill by Darcy Coates because I'll probably like it. I've heard that one is great. A lot of my friends have given it like four or five stars. So I'll probably like it, but I kind of want to try House of Hollow and see what that's about. So I'm going to think on it. Amy, what did you do? Um, I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, like, I thought I was reading the whole time, but I don't think I was because I only got one more chapter in. So I'm like, I definitely wasn't reading the whole time. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was but, a long chapter. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. I think my issue is like, I'm really struggling to get into this book and I don't know what it is, but like, I'm like halfway in. And for some reason, I'm just like not, I don't know, it hasn't hooked me for some reason, but 
The one by the author you told us about earlier? Yeah. Okay. Which I'm surprised, but like, I don't know. There's just, I think it's because I'm not like really crazy about the main character and because like it's mostly with her and like what she's experiencing. Like, I don't know. I'm just having, I'm having a hard time connecting, but we're still doing it. I'm still, I'm still trying because I hear it has a great ending. So that's a bummer that you're not connecting with it, but it is what it is. It happens sometimes. Yeah. I hope it gets better. Like maybe like the ending will be so awesome that you're like, oh, it's actually like a four or five star somehow. Hello. So this vlog is not going as planned. Oh me, oh my. Sorry for the wet hair. I just got out of the shower and it's my day off. So I don't want to do my makeup and do anything. I'm just feeling really lazy and I just want to relax. So whatever. Why am I apologizing for wet hair? Anyway, so my plans for this vlog originally were to read Dar the Darcy Coats and to read House of Hollow. Unfortunately, like I'm blown away that I'm having this response to this book, but at the moment, I'm really not really caring for Gallows Hill. I don't know. I I I want to push through the book, but I'm like trying to get into the story. I'm trying to get into this like main character that we're following. And I just, I'm struggling to get into it. I really, really am. Um, I have looked on Goodreads just to try and get some kind of validation for my feelings. Like, am I the only one? And I'm not. There are a few of my friends who have read it and been like, this book took me a really long time to get into. But the ending is so great. So that's what I'm hoping for. If you don't know what this book is about, let me tell you what it's about. Um, so we're following this woman, her parents that she's kind of estranged from, they sent her away and lost communication. They never really talked or anything, but she's going back to this winery that they owned. They left it to her in their will. They passed away. There's a lot of history with this winery on this place called Gallows Hill. But at the point that I'm at in the book, she's just kind of gotten or is starting to get situated with this winery. Now she's starting to like experience weird things, but she's trying to like keep it going. She's trying her hand at owning this business because one, she feels really bad for the workers there. Um, she doesn't want them all to lose their jobs. And, you know, she's she's trying to make things work and see if this could be something that she does. Um, she also feels like it was important to her parents. And obviously her parents like left it to her. So she's trying to figure out who her parents were. She's trying to like connect with them on some level through their their business and you know that's all that's all fine and cool that's that's good <laughs> but I'm just not uh, I don't know what it is I just I'm not I'm so bored listening to the audiobook I'm so bored and I've been having such a killer month and this book is taking me so long to read and I just I don't want to read this book hello <laughs> Good morning or whatever it is wherever you're at uh, it is morning here for me it's about 8 30 I've been reading all morning so I thought I would check in and give you a little update on my vlog progress I have DNF'd the Darcy I'm, I know I know I DNF'd to Darcy but I just wasn't feeling it I started Gallows Hill on the 11th it is now the 16th I am 40 something percent into it and I'm like 10 percent away from being able to count it for Escape the Readathon but I just can't. I'm just I'm not enjoying it. I'm not into it and because I've really enjoyed Darcy Coates in the past I don't want to like force myself to read this book and give it a low rating which I know it would get even if I like the ending, it's not going to get the kind of rating that I normally give her books. And I really think it's because I'm just not in the mood. Her books are very like atmosphere focused, at least from the ones that I've read so far. That's just the way they are. There is like a mystery element to it, but it's very much like spooky vibes. And I'm just not, I'm just not in the mood for a story 
based around that. I'm in a mood for weird stuff, uh, fun stuff, just more, just different stuff. I'm just, I can't get into the story. I, I can't find myself really caring about anything that's happening and it just, it is what it is. It's just not the right time. So I'm gonna soft DNF it for now. Maybe I'll try it again during like spooky season, fall time, winter time. I tend to like more Gothic style books, more atmospheric, spooky, you know, spooky vibes, that sort of thing. So I'll, I'll give it a try likely again around that time. But now I am on to House of Hollow and I'm pleased to report that this is going so much better. I didn't have high hopes for this one. I, I mean, I had heard it was weird, which is already in its favor, but because it was a YA and I didn't really know too much more about it. I don't know. I just didn't have high hopes that I was going to love it but I am 40% into it now or 40 something. And that's all from just this morning. I've been reading this book since 5 a.m. <laughs> or a roundabout off and on throughout the morning. Basically in the book, we're following this group of sisters when they were, uh, you know, different ages, but like, you know, 10, 11, nine, around that age, um, something happened. They disappeared for a month and now they're older they're in their older teens um they've you know been back for years but when they came back they were very much changed they the cops and therapists and all that said that their changes were due to like the trauma that they experienced but the girls don't really have any memory of what happened to them they have like these bits and pieces that they remember but nothing enough to like explain what happened over that month. But when they came back, their physical appearance started changing. Um, their hair turned white and their like eye color changed, their teeth changed. They have like these weird things where like flowers like grow out of their body. They also have like these magical type witchy gifts the oldest sister gray she like reads about runes and she's very much into like the witchy stuff she has disappeared again and the girls are trying to find her um and the cops as well they've got the cops involved and they're looking for her so that's kind of where I'm at now. It's it's a really interesting story. I'm very much invested in what's going on. I really like this sister group. Um, I, I just think they're so interesting because I think of all of these weird elements. Mysteries typically aren't my thing, but because I really like the sister group, there's a lot of weird stuff going on. A lot of stuff that's like magical-ish, but unexplained still. Um, I'm, I'm interested. And um, I think because the mystery of this like disappearance is one of the sisters and not just like some random person, I'm invested, so. Hello, uh, I am done with House of Hollow. This is my last clip for this vlog. I finished with House of Hollow and I really liked it. I really, really, really liked it. I'm so happy I decided to read that one. Thank you, whoever you are, for recommending it because I otherwise probably wouldn't have got around to this one for a while. I did run it through Copile. For those of you who don't know, I use the Copile rating system. So I did run it through Copile. It got a 4.5 in Copile. I do think I'm going to round down to 4 instead of going up to a 5 for Goodreads since they don't do freaking half stars. But it was still a great, great read. It just, it, I think it surprised me so much because I really didn't know very much about it. Um, and despite the fact that it was YA and I don't like those often or I don't pick up a lot of YA. Even though it was YA, it still had a lot of things that I really like in books. Uh, for one, witchy elements. There's a bunch throughout like witchy magical elements. I love that so much. Um, so that was a plus for me. 
I also really loved the sister group. I love dynamics like that in books where you have usually like a found family friend group is what I typically gravitate towards, but you know, a sister or a strong family dynamic, that'll definitely do it too. I, I really love that and these sisters were so into each other and being close with each other and a part of each other's lives and um, they just meant so much to each other. It was just, I really loved that. I feel like it definitely had the potential to do more with the horror elements, um, but as it is a YA, I totally understand why it didn't quite go there, um, but I would have really loved an adult version of that, which is typically my issue with YA, is I'm like, oh, this was really good, but I would have loved an adult version. Anyway, uh, I really enjoyed the overall story. It was very interesting, held my interest all the way through, and once it wrapped up, I was happy with how everything wrapped up as well. Now. I get to do the big reveal. Lexi just emailed me the video from whoever it was that recommended me these books and I get to finally discover who it was. If I had to pick, if I had to guess on who it was that recommended these out of all of the Escape the Readathon hosts, my guess just based on like what I know about her reading taste and what she has read. I'm guessing that this recommendation was from Sav from Riveting Reads. I feel like just from what I know about her, I know she's read Gallows Hill and loved it. I think she had it as one of her book club books. Um, and then the other two, I know she really likes YA horror. I also know that she really likes covers with women with flowers on it. I remember hearing her say that in either a sprint or one of her videos, I can't remember. but. I feel like these recommendations make sense for what I've seen of her. So <laughs> that's my guess. Time to pull up the video. I will put it up somewhere. I have my computer over here. So I'm gonna pull up the email. Lexi did warn me that as soon as I click on the email, there will be like a screenshot of the video. So I will be able to see once I open the email right away who it is without hitting play but so I haven't even pulled up the email it's still unread in my inbox so okay let me screen record and we shall see who my recommendations came from okay here we go I'm so nervous okay Hello, Amy. I was your secret Santa. I was really excited when I drew your name and I want to tell you why I recommended the books that I chose. I saw on your list that you wanted magical elements, so I immediately thought of House of Hollow and Such Pretty Flowers and it's funny because they kind of have similar vibes as well as similar covers. And then I also- Oh, I didn't know that they had similar vibes. Hmm. I might have to put um, Such Pretty Flowers on my TBR and see what I think of it. Maybe if it's comparable to House Polo. Also recommended Gallows Hill by Darcy Coates because I know that you like ghosts and supernatural elements. Oh, no. And also on your list, you said you wanted a female point of view mm -hmm. and all of these are told from women. I'm not sure what you picked out, but it was so fun doing this and happy reading. So I'm, I'm happy I was right. <laughs> and yeah, they were great picks. I'm really super happy with what you chose to have. Um, sorry I didn't end up reading one, but I will definitely try it in spooky season and hopefully it'll hit better. But House of Hollow really worked, so yay, I'm glad at least one did. All right, I guess I don't need those anymore. All right, thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for recommending me these, Sav. And thank you so much also, Lexi, for putting this together. This was super fun. Also, please check out all the amazing hosts from Escape the Readathon. They're all fantastic, all have great content. I will have all of them linked down in the description. So if you have not done so already, please check out everyone and give them a sub. All right, that's it for me. Uh, thanks so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.